So today I want to define a word epigenetics in very simple terms. Now you're going to hear a lot more about this. It's a very exciting field, but let me just explain what it is. So you have the genes and genes are small sections of the DNA. The DNA is the blueprint, instructions for building a body. And this DNA gets copied as something called RNA. It's a copy of the DNA. And the DNA is a double strand. RNA would be a single strand. So there's a little copy machine that unzips this, makes a copy, two at once, and then the RNA goes outside the center of the nucleus of the cell and goes to a protein factory where it makes body tissue, different proteins. So that's basically what DNA is. And then a section of the DNA would be a gene. So this right here would be compared to a CD. On a CD, you have the song, you have the artist, and you have the playlist in a certain order. Another example would be sheet music, okay, for a song on the piano. You have, you have all these different notes in a certain sequence, and the sheet music is basically the instructions on how to create this song. But you need someone to do something with that music. You need some, someone to play the CD. That's epigenetics. Epigenetics means above genetics. The DNA or gene is not set in stone. So just because you have certain genetics doesn't mean anything. It's really the epigenetics. It's really your environment, okay? So the environment is what triggers turning on or turning off these genes. And what I'm talking about is activating the gene to turn on to be turned into a certain protein and do a certain function. If something is not turned on, it's silenced, okay, that tur it turns it off, versus turning it on, which means that gene is expressed. So expressed means turn on, silence means turned off. Now, some triggers with epigenetics would be your environment, like what you eat, the nutrients in the food, when you eat, and when you're not eating, fasting, temperature, cold, heat, the stress level, sleep, exercise, the type of exercise you do, your mood can affect your genes, okay? Your state of mind could affect your genes, which is pretty cool. Your age will affect your genes. So it's really only 1% of the genetics that d differentiates us from someone else. And this is important to understand because you have to realize that you are in charge of your DNA, okay? You're not so at the effect of these genes as you might think. You can do something about these genes and it has to do with your environment and what you eat, what you don't eat, your fasting, your stress level, your recovery. All right? That's what it is in simple terms. Thanks for watching.